On this Valentine's Day weekend, Ohio basketball sure spread a whole lot of Bobcat love in Buffalo. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. Ohio wins over the Buffalo Bulls 94 to 75 as they paint this one green and white and they just blow kisses to Bobcat fans everywhere. Our report is supported by Donwood Toyota on the web at DonwoodToyota.com. You're Rob, I'm Russ, and yep. this was beautiful. This was fun. And Ohio jumped on these guys from the start, went down 3-2, to two, then went on a couple big runs, a couple 8-0s early in the first half, grew the lead in the second half to 30. Buffalo closed this thing down to about 12, 13 points, blew it back out, ran away with it, and almost get to 100 and root to this win. Ohio's only deficit on the night was 3-2. After that, the lead grew to 30. Ohio was on top 44-28 at halftime, outscored them 50-47 to in the second half. The final score in the 19-point margin, yeah. that wasn't indicative of the control that the Cats had tonight. Yeah, Ohio really not just not just won this game, but when they got ahead, they kept punching and punching and it's in the lead. And both these teams, frankly, the second half offenses were something of beauty. Buffalo 16 of 32 second half, second half. Ohio 20 of 32, 7 11 from three. It seemed like Ohio couldn't miss. Maybe the best shooting, per, shooting percentage and shooting night you'll ever see out of this ball club. Worth it. Tony Campbell 28 points and 15 rebounds in 27 minutes tonight. Yeah, he really, as an individual, and he did that, he said 27 minutes, limited tonight by fouls. If Ohio had been in a closer game, foul trouble would have hurt him with fouls on Simmons and Campbell and Setty early, and, and even big Doug Taylor got four in limited minutes on the way to his decent night as well. But big picture for Ohio, you played through all that, you have four guys in double figures, 28 for Campbell and 23 for Jordan Dardis, almost career high as well. Just banging down threes from everywhere and spreading that love to be sure. Ohio wins at 94 to 75. Here's how it looked and sounded in the Nickel City. Right side, it's Trey Setti. Penetrates all the way in deep. Banked it up and in with a little spin. Go yeah, ahead, Rob. Disjointed lack of offensive discipline without a real point guard right now. Nobody stopped the dribbler, but Campbell got up and spiked that ball down. Leads it down the floor. It's tipped by Setti and then by Buffalo. Corner right, it's Campbell. Strong ball fake. Now a fire. Bang! For Tony Campbell. Simmons to the foul line. Runs down the lane. Teardrop with a right hand is so pure. Now he turns on some speed in the lane. Corner left, Campbell for three. Bang! And all. Ohio is just banging it down early on. Up 10, 15-5. T.J. Massenburg picked it up. He will take it all the way down to Hamilton, who took some contact, banked it in low on the right. Directs traffic, bodies his way in, hits his defender two times, and then he line drive to hook off of the iron, had to skip rope to get the ball back. Right side, Dardis for three, bang! Skipping rope at the foul line. Hamilton steps in. He'll shoot from the foul line and score. Straight on Wigginton for three. Back iron, no bad shot. They tip the rebound out to Kaminsky, leads a pass down the floor. Simmons got away from everybody and lays it in with a right hand. High on the right, it's Tone. Laster in the right corner. Left hand dribble, slides into the paint, took contact and spun it up and in. Skips it left side, driving left of the paint in the lane. Perkins has a shot, redirected, get down the floor and they do. Simmons with a beautiful crossover, goes to the rack and lays it in. Rebound. On the right side, Dardis, wide open from here to Athens, and he bangs down a three. Timeout, Buffalo. Oh, my. They have it in front of us. Right of the paint, Hamilton. Bullet pass for a two-hand dunk by David Kadiri. Simmons, push pass right side, Jordy for three. Bang! 39-20. Simmons, look away to Campbell, in deep, laid it in. Goes from the interlocking U and B on the right side to the point, now to Connor, skips in the lane, and he skips to his loo and laid it in with the right hand on the right side. Now it's Laster at the interlocking U and B, sprints in the lane, protected the ball, left it off the backboard for Toad who rocked that rim. On the right side, leaning in and throwing over to the right wing, it's a three for Massenburg, and he banged it down. Rebound Ohio, Simmons skips into the paint, contact, but he left it up there with the right hand, and it finds the bottom of the twine. Directs traffic, spins on Wigginton, slides it down low to Kaminsky, fakes right, goes left, left side, three for Tone, bang! It is Simmons with speed, all the way to the rack, laid it in! Also the play-by-play -play voice of the AAA Rochester Red Wings, Taylor straight on for three, bang! <laughs> Look what he found! Block at the top, pitch back Jordy, wide open from here to Athens, and bang, bang, bang. Simberg will coast to the goal and stuff it home with the right hand to Jordy, left wing, penetrates, left of the paint, right pocket, Campbell wide open from here to Athens, bang, and good night, 75-48.
Still down low block right. Fakes right. Goes left. Now to block. Three in front of Ohio's bench. Banked in! <laughs> so the block charge didn't go his way the other side of the floor, but he hits a three on a bank right in front of us. Left at his block. Protects the ball to the rim. Banked it in low on the right. Well, this is the opposite block. Stole it off of the inbound. Dardis to set. He steps through three. Banked it in! And Ohio could do no wrong tonight. Hip high right hand dribble as he speeds into the front court. Slings up a three and bangs it down. It is Simmons with the right hand dribble. Into the post. Kenny was wide open. Shot fake. Banked it up and in. Picked up by Setti. The officials might have swallowed the whistles. Alley oop drag. Kissed it in with the right hand. On a little lob from Gavin Block. Right side now. It is Hamilton. Right corner three. Bang. Stops. Bullet pass high on the right to Setti. We'll put it on the deck. Goes into the paint. Scoops. Left hand. Got it. Skeet left wing, leaves it off now to Massenburg. Six, now five seconds left. Now four, Skeet left wing three, rimmed out. Rebound, Buffalo, ball game, Bobcats. And Ohio absolutely blew away the Buffalo Bulls. This thing was not in doubt seemingly from the start. Happy Valentine's Day weekend, everybody. And if you're a Bobcat fan, you love this. So the Bobcats are 16 and 8. They are 7 and 5 in Mid-American Conference play. Winners of 5 of the last 6. They sweep the road trip after going 2 and 1 at home. Eastern Michigan comes to town on Tuesday night. Yeah, and that's big. What have we always said? Split on the road and go virtually undefeated or pretty close to that at home and Ohio basically gets a break back. Gets that Bowling Green home loss back by going on the road and doing their thing. Eastern tough. Big zone. Big shot blocker on the back end of it and some guys who are going to score an electric team occasionally is Eastern Michigan. This was a whole lot of fun. As this trips to Buffalo go in the winter, this was great. Uh, good place to stay, good meals, good game. Hopefully we get out of here and our plane's awesome. I'm driving back, so uh, who kn I'll, I'll get back to the plane sometime before the pregame show on Tuesday, I'm guessing. Send my best to the interstates of America. I will. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. We love you so much. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. He's Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Our postgame report is supported by Don, Donwood Toyota on the web at DonwoodToyota.com. 94.75 Ohio wins over Buffalo. Happy Valentine's Day. This is Bobcat TV.